Today I am going to make glacial acetic acid. Acetic acid is the main ingredient in vinegar and is typically for percent strength. Glacial acetic acid contains no water and is 100% pure. I start by adding 150 grams of the anhydrous sodium acetate I made last week to my boiling flask. Glacial acetic acid is critical in the production of organic esters such as ethyl acetate, as well as photographic film, wood glue, and VAN. Now that I've added the sodium acetate and set up a simple distillation, all I need to do is add 100 milliliters of 95% sulfuric acid. This reaction is extremely exothermic and becomes so hot you can see liquid acetic acid streaking down the flask. Here is a close-up view as I add the rest. You can see a white fog produced as the reaction proceeds, and this is the small amount of water that remained in the acid boiling off. Once the acid is produced, it will collect in the Erlenmeyer flask. For that to happen, heat is increased to 160 C as acetic acid boils at 244 C. At first, only water vapor will come over. Collect this for now. Once the fog is gone and acetic acid begins to condense, discard any liquid in the collection flask and replace it. We will now collect 100% of the distillate until the drops stop coming, and this is our pure acetic acid. After an hour the boiling flask looks like this, and no more acid is coming over. Last all we need to do is collect our product. Follow to see a few applications of glacial acetic acid. Eventually I will use it to make ethyl acetate and acetic anhydrate.